Welcome back to another episode of Wilds and Water Sailing. Gets this high, or else we won't be able to walk back around. Okay, sounds good. We're just about to watch our time. Okay. Brooks Peninsula, which juts out significantly along the northwest quadrant of Vancouver Island, has a unique history. On the peninsula lies the Refugium Range, a small range of mountains, any peaks of which were over 700 meters or higher, remained uncovered in the last ice age. This meant the area supported long isolated populations of both plants and animals. Time to hit the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when else to Boy's already there socializing, probably. <laughs> Probably. It's like, oh, you guys are taking photos? Yeah. I'll be right there. Yeah. I sense the presence of a camera. Nice and cool. Good dog! Moy doesn't usually like to swim, but on this particularly hot, sunny day, she decided to join us for our skinny dip. The only thing was, once that cold water hit her skin, she seemed to start having a bit of a malfunction <laughs> and got a pretty epic case of the zoomies. <laughs> Look how sandy my stuff is now. Thanks, Moy. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to believe that this fluff ball is nearly 13 years old. Early the next very rainy morning, we set out on a pre-sailing dog walk to the beach. Careful on this section, all right? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fall. I just know I'm gonna fall. Well, with that attitude. <laughs> In hindsight, if I could have done one thing differently, it would have been to purchase better gum boots for our trip along the BC coast. Initially, I loved these galoshes, and they seemed like a great practical option. They were also comfy, well-priced, and cute to boot. Although they had great traction to begin with, in only a short time the bottoms wore slick, and it only took a few good wipeouts to realize better boots were in order. Ah! 
Shut up. Oh. <laughs> you pulled a glass ball out of there, I would have been. Would have been like, shh, you son of a gun. I got another plug for you to paint with your nail polish. Okay. That's awesome. Let's get some hooks for her. Get what? I need to get some hooks for her. Yeah. We got hooks. Knees are full of air? Yeah. Woo! I made it without falling! Woo!
so uh, almost eight o'clock in the evening now. We had a really good sail today, pretty slow going. Did a bunch of tacking and we're just coming into uh, the mission group of islands right now, which is where we're gonna anchor for the night. Um, and that's just outside of Walter's Cove. So yeah, we've made about, I think 14 miles today or something and six hours of sailing, so yeah, it's a good day. We are out exploring the mission group right now. Uh, if we're getting low on greenery, we'll uh, usually try to find sea asparagus, fireweed, really high in vitamin C, and yeah, tastes kind of like spinach in a way. Best thing is to get the early or the younger leaves. So like anything up around the top is the last growth. And they're kind of less tough then. We've done bacon and fireweed and onion and uh, sea asparagus, like scrambled egg wraps. And it's ah, so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Fireweed is a an early site increaser, I believe, and so it's you'll find it in places where there's been a disturbance, um, and it's quite prolific. It grows really well, so there's usually lots about. If you find some, there's lots, and you can eat the flowers too. They're um, pretty to put in salads or like as a topping, and you can also eat them. I like to leave them mainly for the bees, though. They can pollinate. Yeah, I think that should be good. Good for breakfast. Mm -hmm. right. Let's go. Let's go. Rugged point, and uh, just going for a quick morning walk over to the beach on the other side, and then hopefully, gonna get a move on. I'm um, sailing south to Nootka Sound. Said maybe motoring today. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, in which case, we'll just let you know when we get there. How about that? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey. <laughs> Where are we going today? We are trying to make it to the Steamer Point Lodge. To see Matt and Joss. See Matt and Joss. In the Tassis Narrows, Nuka Sound. Yeah. Hopefully do some diving. Maybe do some sailing. They'll probably put us to work. Have a shower. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and do laundry. laundry. Yeah. Never seen people get so excited about doing laundry. Yeah. <laughs> and having a shower. <laughs> yeah. Don't have to do the old salt water stomp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a shower would be nice. Mm -hmm. And right now we're just uh, sailing very slowly out of Rugged Point. Right. 1.5 knots. There's not a lot of wind right now. And we wore knots. But pretty much sailed right off the anchor, so that's always nice. Pretty much. We so did we... sail right off the anchor, not pretty much. We did. After having to start the motor, we decided to throw a plug in the water. Is it a fish or some kelp? <laughs> But all the fish are laughing at us. hard-working gal in our little short shorts. Ow, ow! Oh, there comes Matt. What is he carrying? It looks like he's carrying shots. Shots. <laughs> <laughs> what is he up to? <laughs> We're getting waved in. Oh, yeah. Join us next time as we dive into the underwater world of the Tassis Narrows and do some exploring with Matt and Joss up to Tassis proper. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already, show your support by hitting subscribe. If you want to invest in the experience and support our creations, you can do so by becoming a patron. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.